Social vulnerability refers to populations that are particularly vulnerable to disruption and health problems. So what you're going to see is that the uh, social vulnerability index ranks 15 different social factors, including poverty, lack of vehicle access, crowded housing. Right here, I have a sample map for you, and you can see um, that this is the overall social vulnerability level. Um, but we also have minority status and language as part of it, socioeconomic status, housing and transportation, and household composition and disabilities. You'll find that the SBI index, as we've already discussed, is going to reveal these patterns of disparity across race and income and education. And we're going to just take a look at a few of the sample maps without actually getting into um, the logging into policy map and showing how you use it. And we're taking a look at Tampa as our example. And you can see that the darker areas are where there's a higher level of social vulnerability. If you break it out by socioeconomic status, you're going to see um, that this includes the population below the federal poverty level, the unemployed population, per capita income, and population with no high school diploma. So this is going to be just a really good way of looking at exactly what's happening in. When you're in Policy Map, you can um, pan and you can zoom in and zoom out and look at this data all the way down to the census tract level. The next, next example would be social vulnerability level by the household composition category. And again, we're taking a look at um, the population of age 65 or older. It could be children age 17 or younger, civilians with a disability, and single parent households. Uh, so this measure can be used to identify areas with high concentrations of people that might be physically susceptible to health challenges due to adverse conditions or that may have specific needs for evacuations. The next example is minority status and language ability social vulnerability level. And again, the darker concentrations, the areas of darker purple would be the high vulnerability. And it includes populations that identify as a race or ethnicity other than non-Hispanic white and population over the age of five that speak English less than well. This measure can be used to identify areas that may need targeted public outreach and information campaigns or may need interpretation services. The next area of social vulnerability would be housing and transportation access. And it includes the number of housing units and larger multifamily buildings with 10 plus units, mobile homes, crowding, households without access to a car, and populations living in group quarters such as prisons or dormitories. Crowding is defined as the number of housing units with more residents than rooms. And this measure can be used to flag areas where the housing stock may be at risk during a disaster or populations that may not be able to heed an evacuation order.